So I came to work with Gordon today. It's not actually work. This is the stuff he likes. It's the volunteering at the Ron Burton Center. And Ron Burton Training Village. Ron Burton, at the Ron Burton Training Village. Yeah. So Gordon, this is what you do all day? You just play I, with instruments? I just play with electronics. They do all the work. I just watch them do whatever they do. All right. Apparently that's a GPS. <laughs> are going to go around and GPS the control. So if any of you ever wondered when it says GPS, what does GPS look like? This it is, looked... This is just the receiver. <laughs> oh. <laughs> does that mean that that is the GPS? The Over antenna. there? That's that's the base. That's the base. So that's uh, that's collecting reference data so it's not moving around. And then from that reference location, we'll get these other locations with the rover. Rover. Did you name it? No. Can you? Johnson from Van Asseng and Breslin. We're uh, here today to do some scanning for existing condition elevation study uh, that's going to be happening to, to rebuild the floor. Uh, we are at Ron Burton training facility in Coverston and it's a beautiful day out here. Kind of cold but not bad, right? Yeah, 45 degrees is beautiful out here. And what's the overall goal? To capture the existing elevations of the concrete floor so that they can uh, conduct their study and evaluate the floor elevations to rebuild it at the proper elevation. Okay. I'm a geomatics director of uh, Massachusetts and New Hampshire offices. And the name of the company one more time? Van Asseng and Breslin, and it's uh, based out of Watertown. Uh, it goes by DHB. And Thank what you. is it exactly? It's a uh, civil engineering, uh, environmental permitting, geomatics, uh, transportation company. It's uh, been in business since uh, the late 1970s. Oh, you yeah, just one last thing. What are you going to do with the, the scanning? Like, what are those things out there that are set up? So those are control points for our scanning exercise, and that will be tied in uh, so that it is all meshed together when we uh, put the information together. And uh, right now, we're collecting GPS uh, values on our control points. Thank you. Appreciate it. Got it. So did you come here as a kid? Yeah, my father started it. My yeah. father created this place back in 1985. Mm -hmm. And so I was a little, I was part of the program just growing up, and now, he passed away in 2003, so it's been 20 years. And so the family now is sort of stepping in his shoes. It's been, a lot, it's been a lot of growth. Everything you see from the second gate on end was all woods. Nothing existed. Well, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. There's work. a lot of clearing you did. 39 years. A lot of clearing, oh. a lot of building from the ground. So what is your, I don't want to say retention, what is your turnover? What is your, what are your numbers? <laughs> How many cities? How far are we flying these kids? How, yeah. So we impact about 500 kids a year. Wow. And they come from greater Boston area. Okay. And 100% um, of our kids that go through the seven year program graduate high school and go on through college. Okay. And every year uh, we, we bring in the class, every year we graduate a class. And uh, we have about 93% retention. Very good. Yep. So it's, it's pretty good. It's been uh, exciting. The kids that commit, they're really committing for seven years. Wow. It's a year-round program, so they live with us during the winter, during the summer, and then that's why we're kind of retrofitting all the buildings so we can bring kids in throughout the winter. So what's the plan with the building? So this is going to be called the Robert Kraft Parthenon, huh. and uh, this is a multi-purpose pavilion. We do everything from banquets here to presentations here, exercises here, church services here. Um, it's a really a great facility that you can get out of the sun and have some still be outside. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's going to be used for many different reasons. A lot of barbecues, a lot of cookouts, <laughs> a lot of family-oriented things. Okay. So we can't go anywhere without the floor, so we're trying to establish what the problem is with the floor first. Yeah. We walked in and we saw the cracks, we saw the patches. They must have had like a green carpet type style in here for a while. Carpet squares for a long time. Yeah. 
Are you thinking to go back to that? No. We're gonna put down <laughs> oh, like no, a, he says. Oh, no. no we're going to put down like a sort of like a sports floor type oh. of like an outdoor pump. Yeah, the rubber like, I know what you mean. Yep. That'll be sweet. Well, you got a lot ahead of you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so VHV is here today to do a scan. And I've never seen a scan done. I'm assuming you've never seen no. a scan done. <laughs> so together we will yeah. see this scan and all that it's touted to be. So after you're done blowing, do you have to wait for this to dry or not? Uh, probably you not. Know, the problem is trying to get the excess water off as soon as you can. But I mean, it's all day. But I mean, it's kind of a. I would say it's, it's a little bit of overkill doing the scan, but it's a you know it's a new technology and it's okay. it, it's going to do what we want it to do okay. uh, and more. And yeah. So. Okay. Okay. But it's good. I mean, you could, we could have done it a conventional way, where it's you know you're, you're taking measurements and yeah. laying out a grid and all that. Okay. But this is this is kind of a, a better way, and I think the product is something that um, the yeah. architect will like a lot more and awesome. we'll get more information in what is really needed. Okay. So one of the uh, trades that are out there that are really growing is geomatics, and what we are doing. Yeah. And um, I mean, it would be pretty cool if we kind of put a little package together, maybe show your students that would be what, awesome. uh, what we did here. And, that would be so cool. Because you know, a lot of kids are really interested in that. Colleges and for everybody, whatever, they, they yeah. go a totally different route. Yeah, and this, this really, uh, it's growing fast We'd love to right have now. you guys back and do that. Yeah. That'd yeah, be we fun. Could, we could do that. Right at, um, right across from Channel 38 there in Birmingham Parkway. And, uh, and now, I mean, it was two offices at that point, and I don't know what we have now, about 30 offices and almost 2,000 people really? up and down the East Coast. Mm, that's yeah. Big. yeah. That's impressive. It's, uh, it's a great company. It's really, uh, How really long been with it? a long time since uh, I have to add it up, oh. like 1986. So these, what's that, that's a uh, hall over there? So that's the dining hall, okay. that's the yeah. stem hall, so we have stem building, sure. and then this is our weight room. Up the hill is a big yaki dorm, Okay. Uh, this is where the kids sleep. Yep. The kids can also sleep in that building. Okay. And the very first house way out there is the first building we built in 1986. Yeah. This will be the first house, the first group of 30 kids. Yep. When did they build the Parthenon? This was built in 97, 98. So do you have graduations? Yeah, we do, not you know, like you see normally in a high school or anything like that, right. but we do have something, we do a lot, of stuff, a lot of special things for the kids. And most importantly is giving them scholarships. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, they, their lives are really changed dramatically. We wake up at 4.30 in the morning here, and seven miles a day, all the time. Yeah. And we're getting ready, getting ready, getting them ready for real life experiences. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Overcoming adversity. Yeah. Uh, how to how to maintain our, our four pillars are love, peace, patience, humility. I'm trying to get them to capture those virtues in every area of their lives. Yeah. So they can go out, be great husbands, great wives, great community folks, great teammates, great classmates, great brothers and sisters, and then we'll eventually become great parents. Yeah. You know. That's fantastic. Because this world is crazy and mm -hmm. it's flipping fast on us. Sure is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah, it does. We finally getting it. Yeah, it's down here. It's really bad. Up the hill, it's fine. No cell phones. Yeah, it's tough. That's a tough one for the kids. Yeah, nowadays. Yeah, it's brutal. Okay. I think we're gonna move to this next step. Yeah. Trying to find the right land. He wanted it to be just far enough away from the city, yeah. but close enough to the city. Right. And he wanted to create uh, a village, so it had to be enough land to do what he wanted to do. Yeah. And um, there's a lake that we own too, so that's part of the yeah. ambiance of the whole thing. And uh, but he, he searched for a long time, yeah. long time, yeah. trying to find the right. Land. I bet it was all woods. Everything was woods. Everything. Yeah. Not one thing. Not one road. Not one building. Nothing. Yeah. So were you involved with a lot of the initial start of this? So I was so young, I was only 10, Yeah. so I didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> I, I really, we, no one really understood it until much later on. Yeah. So we, had a, we had a vision, but yeah. I didn't have a vision yeah. of really trying to live out Dr. King's dream and really bring every type of kid in America here to this place, teach them how to love one another, yeah. how to work together, how to train together, but be respectful and kind. At the same time, work hard. Because anything worth anything in life is going to require a lot of work and sure. hard sacrifice. And so um, 
it, this was sort of his vision and it's really grown and people really took to it. Yeah. He, had, he had to use his entire life savings when he first started. Mm -hmm. right. The bank wouldn't give him a loan. He uh. said, Ron, don't do this. Point, give him all your money away. And my dad said, this is something I have to do. Yeah. And wow. um, he really took a huge leap of faith. But God truly blessed it and uh, we're growing and growing ever since. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> then it was the right way. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it was a big risk. <laughs> Good for him for listening. Yeah. I mean, that's the tough of, part, it's listening. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of athletes, a lot of famous people that don't do something like that, right, which is right. incredible. Yeah. So did he come home and be like, oh my word, we own a lake. And oh my word, we own a me, cliff. <laughs> I said, come on, let's go have a camp. I go, what are you talking about? And they say, I know I'm pulling weeds. I'm getting ready. <laughs> I was the first group of kids. Yeah, no, it was a big, big deal. Because uh, none of us were even in college yet. Yeah. Wow. So we didn't even pay for that yet. <laughs> so fortunately, we all got scholarships. But um, yeah, it was, it was a big risk. Yeah. Big yeah. risk. Yeah. You know, especially in the 80s. Yeah. yeah. He took a group of boys for a couple weeks, and he actually took a group of girls, too. Yeah. So he was, every, he was even impacting young women back then. He, had, he was a way ahead of his time. Yeah. He really was. And uh, he knew that girls deserve the same amount of opportunities the right. boys do. And um, he just was doing things that were just out of the, out of the ordinary at yeah. the time. Amazing. And convincing kids to wake up at 4 3 on Sunday night. <laughs> It's not for playing ping pong. That goes on there. This is a, this is a target that we're going to be referencing to. So let's go set a couple more of these up. Test my knowledge. Is that a hub? That is a PK nail. PK nail. Or a mag nail. Okay. And Gordon set that to reference a point on the property, yes? Yes. Yep. That'll, so, that'll have some coordinates on it with an elevation cool. as well as duos everywhere we have a setup you scored nicest day to be out of the office yeah, that's why i picked it <laughs> it's a fantastic day out it's beautiful even the snow that was on the ground has already melted on the other side of those bushes this is quite the device we need anything else moved out of the way uh, we'll close those doors before we start the scan. We'll move this stuff so it's not visible. To see. Yeah, it's doing both ways at the same time. Right. Yeah. You know, so it's doing. So. Right. It's going this way. So is this device the scanner? It is. This is the, this is the scanner. The scanner. Terrestrial oh. scanner. Terre it's called, yeah. Terrestrial. Yeah, meaning land. Okay. <laughs> because we have mobile, so you can hook it onto a vehicle. Oh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That one costs a lot more money. I bet it does. Does it come with more padding or? Wind resistance. <laughs> it mounted onto a vehicle, and, and it's a it's a really highly stabilized setup. It costs yeah. about seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Have you guys used it yet? Uh, yeah, the director of our reality capture, Bruce. Yes. Has used it in Vermont. Oh, nice. Yeah. And it worked out. Did what it said it was going to do. Great, uh, great uh, precision and fantastic data with it. Cool. And you're on the highway for a very limited amount of time. Oh, nice. That's so all we gotta do is stay out of the line. Yeah, we're just gonna of the, uh, until the image rocket. comes right up. Come up here. Oh, look at that! Look at that! And it's doing backwards and forwards at the same time. Wow. So it's you know doing a 360 That's degree. That's pretty cool. You just end up with a dead spot directly underneath you. Underneath. Yeah, which is why the case is underneath. This is actually a pretty quick scan. A lot of the ones we've been doing, because it's further distances, was, um, you know, a five minutes scan, three minutes scan. Right. Wow, I mean, you guys were just, uh oh. <laughs> there it is. That's it. Oh, oh. Okay. It's just going back. It's just going back to where it was. You can, so actually, you can actually step through it and you'll just get like one sliver of yeah. you in a normal Huh. If you stand there, It'll scan you and you'll see a person. Scan. Well, don't do that. Keep so moving. That right there. What do we think that is? Is that that? Oh, let's see. These are the two pillars probably closest. It's probably right here. Oh, for sure. Yeah. There's that piece over there. The wind picked up. That's drying it up for you. Oh, yeah. So oh, I think it is this and that wet spot right here. Is that oh, that big one. Right yeah. There? That's that little triangle there. And then we should see these little tiles that you can zoom in on that. It looks like, is it that beam that we're seeing? Yeah, so this beam right here is that beam there. Because you can see how these two columns look closer. Yeah. Well, that column and that column's closer, that one's further away. So that middle column is the corner column right out there. Mm -hmm. You know? Cool. So. All right, so now 
I do that, so I hit the green. So out there. And that's over by the GPS. Okay, now I should be able to over there. And then there's another one right there. So this is the back side of it. So Gordon is looking for that target. Oh, look at that. I didn't see that part of it. Yeah, you're not in it now because it's going that direction. So what so. is that that's going around? That's just, oh, that's, uh, that's the, the image. Yeah, it's the, the laser. There, there is a laser thing that comes out of it. Just in this back oh. underneath. Yeah. So we've moved from that corner to kind of the middle. Gordon put an X on the ground. Actually, let's open them. Let's, let's open them because we already have a good scan of it closed. There we go. I don't know if they can see that. That's really cool, man. How long has it been going? It's almost done. There's not much to see on this side. Yeah, so we just scan the interior there. Isn't that cool? There's a lot to it, you don't realize. Which car is yours? The truck? Yes. Uh, just some thank you stuff for you guys. Oh my goodness, oh, yeah. thank you. Uh, All right, Gordon's gonna move that target to behind us, and that will leave a target over there, and over there, and then he can do the other half of the building. But uh, because the way we're doing it, right? You're not, doesn't really yeah, matter. we're just resectioning. As long as we don't kick the leg in the middle. I'm over here. <laughs> I'm over here. Comes equipped with a trident top there. I asked Gordon, "What do you think they did up there?" I should have asked Paul before he left. I don't know what that's for. Gonna run some levels with Boss Man. Dry. That's a fancy pen. Okay, can you rock it back and forth towards me? Good. It closed. We'll yeah. just leave it that it closed. It closed, yeah. One hundred. Oh. So you're hiring, you said? What's that? You said you're hiring? <laughs> yeah, we're going to replace Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, honey. I knew the day was coming. Uh, do you need those targets set back up? Uh, yeah, can we do the outside scans? that do? Ooh, that's an eight minute scan. Mm. Mm. With setting that distance, is, that's my resolution, eight hundredths uh, at 175 feet, but either that or I have to do more scans. How long is this thing? How long is what? The Parthenon. I think it's 160, 170 feet or something like that. So, I think I'll do that because I'll get some good definition from the other side as well. It just means like that column back there, you know, rather than get it every eight, eight hundredths every inch or so, I'll have a point that'll probably be inch and a half to two inches apart. So I'll just have fewer points on it, but then we'll be setting closer to it. We're going to do scan and image mm -hmm. on this one. So that's going to up it to another seven minutes. So it's going to be set here for uh, 15 minutes.
the machine is full and he ran out of room to store and we have two more shots to do sorry two more scans to do <laughs> you're more trusting than i am i know every project we've worked on and they're all registered and already on the backed up on the network so we're good yeah all right, thank you. Bye. Bye. I just spent the day with Gordon and his boss, Glenn, and what an opportunity here at the Ron Burton Training Village. This was amazing. Met Paul Burton, gave us some swag bags. I mean, beautiful weather, great cause. If you haven't heard of them, check out their website. I'll put it down below. Gordon and I have participated in many volunteer opportunities, but this by far takes the cake. Who can say they've worked on a Partheon in the U.S. here in Hubbardston, Mass? We can. <laughs> Bad news. You gotta do it all over again. Seriously? Are you serious? No. <laughs> well, it's not happening tonight. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Thoughts? Another day done all in one job. <laughs> so, well, thank you for the opportunity. Well, thank you, and uh, thanks for the uh, great level run. Yeah. Zero, zero, oh 001, right? Yeah. Zero, oh, look at that. Yeah, huh? Ever pleasing, Gordon? Yeah. That's a, that'd be an upgrade, right? <laughs> uh, do you know how to close the gate? Do you know how to open it? Yeah.